let's just say this next story is a mouthful. <laughs> A man from Wisconsin getting something very important returned. Yeah, his bite. The guy lost his dentures in the Gulf, but a snorkeler found the choppers literally right off the beach. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick joining us now with this amazing story of lost and found. How about that, Hal? It's hard to imagine um, the odds of something like this happening. Absolutely, especially once you factor in the fact that the teeth were lost last Monday. They were found four days later on Friday more than two miles away. And they weren't even floating. They were actually on the bottom, just smiling back at Aaron Welburn. That actually scared me. I was like, I was like yeah, I said, where's the rest of this guy's teeth? Like to somebody. For Aaron and Blair Wellborn, this year's annual Gulf Shores vacation will assuredly rank as the most memorable. It will forever be entwined with that of another families who they've never met. To get the full story, we need to back up four days. Randy Williams of Wisconsin was in the water when the wind blew off his hat. And I went to grab my hat and I was sideways and a, a wave just come in and hit me alongside the head. And I felt them, felt them uh, when I went in the water and I had my hand for a second in the, in the ocean and way, way they went. Williams lost hope but made the most of his vacation and returned home Friday. About the same time, Wellburn was wrapping up a snorkeling adventure just off the shoreline from his beach rental. He'd taken off his fins and snorkel and was headed to the shore. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to put my goggles on and look down in the water as I walk up and maybe just by chance I'll find something. And I stuck my head in the water and as soon as I stuck my head in the water, they were literally sitting on the bottom just smiling at me. <laughs> a closer inspection revealed a name imprinted on the dentures. Now the challenge was on. Find the right Randy Williams and reunite him with his lost uppers. Welburn went to Facebook and posted pictures of the teeth and it quickly got attention. Someone in the thread searched out Randy Williams in Gulf Shores and a hit came back. Contact was made and within 20 minutes, the right Randy was found. At first, I thought it was somebody playing a joke on me, you know, and I said, yeah, because I didn't know. And then, and she goes, my cousin found them. Uh, and I'm like, are you serious? And she said, yeah. And then she gave me his phone number. The last few days have been quite the adventure for the Wellborns and Williams' teeth. So much so that the Denture Adventures road trip has taken on a life of its own. The last stop in Alabama, right here at Fox 10 News. We have laughed we've, a lot. We've deemed this story, um, it's a story to really sink your teeth into. <laughs> And it's one they'll probably tell their grandkids about one day. Randy Williams says the lucky find saved him about $2,000 in new dentures. He did say it was a little rough on vacation, though. He had to cut up his shrimp into small pieces to eat, and he couldn't eat steak. Reporting live in Mobile, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.